Welcome to an electromechanical bike lock. Recently I was at the scrapyard and found a destroyed O-bike. It's one of those rent-a-bike bicycles and it still had the lock on it, so I unscrewed it for us to explore. Here I have a picture of a lock like this mounted on a still intact bike. You can see how the lock blocks the rotation of the rear wheel. In order to use the system and ride the bike, you first have to install an app on your smartphone. You enter your personal information and your credit card number and then to ride the bike you have to scan a QR code that's put on the bike around here. Then the app opens a Bluetooth connection with a lock and unlocks the lock and then the paying time starts. You ride the bike and when you are done you press another button in the app and close the lock. Then the paying time stops. While you are riding the bike the application sends position information to a server so that the system knows where the bike is located and can show it on a map. From the exterior properties of this lock we can see the mounting holes, a handle that is connected to the bolt to lock up this lock again once it's unlocked, then we can see that it is solar powered and on the side we have a little button. If we push this button it makes a horrible sound but nothing else happens. So let's open it up. By the way, I had a pretty hard time to get this cover off. They tightly connected both parts. <laughs> so here we go. That's how it looks inside. We can see it looks quite similar to a disc lock with a steel construction that is hollow to accept this bolt. The bolt, as I said, is connected to this handle. And the reason why the lock is in the locked state is because there is a little gap in this ring and the gap is filled with a lever that is currently down and there is a little motor inside and when the lock is activated this motor lifts the lever and the lock opens up. But we will come to this just in a second. But first I wanna disassemble the lock and show you the inside. So here's the lock itself without the housing. We can see the upper part is where the electronics is and here is also the battery that is charged by the solar panel. On the side we have the button and the little speaker and the lower part is the mechanical lock. I think now it's time to lift the lever and get this lock unlocked. I just use a screwdriver and pull on the lever and you can see there is a spring inside that pushes this bolt out of the way as soon as the lever is lifted and so the lock is unlocked. Now we can disengage, oops, sorry, we can disengage the electronic part and the mechanical part. All right, let's quickly inspect the mechanical part. We can see the ring here that's inside and when I use this handle to move it, we can see that there is a part where there is a cutout in the ring that is then filled with a lever and let the lock stay in the locked position. And on the right side we can also see the spring. Now here's the electronic or electromechanical part. Let's see how this looks inside by undoing the screws. and pulling off these covers. On the right hand side we can see the little motor with a lot of gears and the spring-loaded lever. And on the, right, on the right side there's a little switch so that the electronic knows when the lock is locked up or in the open state. Let's have a closer look to the little motor because this is quite nice to look at. You can see all these gears are working together so that the motor can spin fast and this little lever here slowly gets up or down. You can see this is spring-loaded so this enables the system 
to lift the lever, so to unlock the lock, and when the motor spins in the opposite direction, it pushes down the lever, but this gets only pushed on the bolt by the spring tension, and then you can close the lock and the lock is locked up automatically. Here's the lock reassembled and in the locked up state. I've unplugged the jack that connects to the motor and to the switch and put in two needles to connect to the wires that go to the motor. Now on the other end of my two cables I can now connect a battery and when I choose the correct polarization the motor should spin in the right direction and unlock the lock. So let's try that. No, that was the wrong direction. Let's flip it over. <laughs> and here we go. So the lock is now in the unlocked state. Now to lock it back up we have to reverse the polarization and the motor will um, release the pressure on the handle and then it will stop. So now I can pull down the handle of this bolt and the lock locks up automatically. Pretty cool feature. Maybe you want to look at this uh, mechanism in a close-up view. Here we have a good close-up view to the service window. I put around black tape to reduce reflections. The lock is currently in the locked up state and the lever is down. When I pull on the handle, I can move the bolt left and right and you can see how the cutout touches the lever. Now I use the battery and connect to the cable so we can see the lever lifting and the lock unlocking. Okay, here we go, the lock is unlocked. If I flip the battery over, we should see how the lever wants to go down, but it's blocked by the, by the round bolt. So let's look at that. Okay, the motor stopped, but now the lever is under spring tension and when I pull on the handle and get the cutout of the bolt under the lever, the lever goes down by the spring and now the lock is locked up again. I pulled out the switch and the motor again to see the gears spinning in a close-up view. I also put the motor on top of two pair of pliers to get some clearance for the lever. So let's zoom in to see the wheels or the gears spinning in a close-up view. Alright, I attached the battery and here we go. That's an awesome view. <laughs> I really liked it. Now the job of the gears is to reduce the speed of the lever. The motor is spinning quite fast and the lever turns very slow, but with the advantage of much more power. Flip over the battery to reverse the direction. Pretty cool. That's my favorite part on this lock. So here's the lock completely reassembled and now it's time to see how secure it is. I tried to connect via Bluetooth with my smartphone and there is a name appearing in the list of Bluetooth applications but the connection failed so I think I'm missing um, a code or so. As I have no experience with that I think it's up to someone else to see if there is a Bluetooth vulnerability. I want to now focus on the physical security, therefore I open up this cover again and obviously this service window here is the weak point. The lock is currently locked up state and if I just use a screwdriver and pull on this lever, the lock will open. Also if I use a pick, I will give you a close up on this now and just insert it like so flip it over and pull the lever, it will open right away. Now the question is how do we get access to the service window and can manipulate the lever? 
I think there is no other option than to make a little hole in here and to put some tools in and see if we can lift the lever. So let's try to do that. Alright, now comes the fun part, the experiment. I've put the cover back on and used tape here, there and there to make sure the cover doesn't come loose again. Now I wanna see if I can use some basic tools to get access to the service window and not destroy too much of the lock. I think the service window is right um, around here at this edge and to get a hole in here I think I will just use a lighter and a screwdriver. So let's see if this works. I will heat up my screwdriver Now let's see if we can poke a hole in here. Yeah, looks like. <laughs> okay, maybe not the first time. Let's do that again. Okay, now I've got a hole, but I don't think that we are at the right spot. Maybe I can stick in my pick and lift the lever, but I'm not quite sure. I release tension on the lever and see if I can lift it. Not sure where I am with my pick actually. Ha! Here we go! That was not too difficult. <laughs> my first attempt to get this lock open without looking at the lever just by making a little hole with a screwdriver and a, a cigarette lighter. <laughs> so I think we can safely say that this lock is really not very secure. Although it's pretty fancy with the solar panel, the little button here, oh, which doesn't work anymore, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, with all the fancy gears and so on and so forth, but you can easily get this lock open with some basic tools. <laughs> Alright, this was um, the exploration of this O-Bike electromechanical bike lock. I hope you had some fun. I had a lot of fun looking at the... Uh, various features of this lock and the uh, final opening of it. Yeah, and until we meet again, thank you very much for watching, happy picking and bye-bye!